Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. Now, a question that I've been getting asked more and more recently is which is the best cockpit in Space Engineers? Now, the reason for this is probably due to the introduction of this new DLC industrial cockpit that some players feel is a little bit unfair, and some think it has a bit more of a view range. So let's put that to the test and let's compare these cockpits. Now to compare anything, we need some test criteria. So the first thing we'll be comparing is visuals. How much can the character actually see from the cockpit? The second thing is the amount of LCDs that we can visually see as we fly in from the cockpit itself. Next up will be the damage each cockpit can take. So either by Gatling gun fire or assault rifle fire. And the final thing we'll be looking at is connection points and in fact we're going to start with connection points so here is the small ship industrial cockpit it has two to the rear so you can see one of either side spaced out by a single block if we attempt to place that you can see the single block there and it has one on top now what makes this quite interesting is it doesn't actually have a large connector Compared to the standard cockpit that we've seen right from the beginning of Space Engineers, you can see we've got an access port on the back via the door. We've also got two connector points on either side of that. We've got one small connector point on the front, and we also have one large one on the bottom. So really still quite a good cockpit. Now next up, we have the fighter cockpit that has one small connector on the front, one large one on the back, and one small on the bottom. So you can see that these really do have a little bit of advantage in having that larger connection point. But you might not call that an advantage, but definitely having a connector on the front there is definitely going to be very, very useful. Now moving on to the larger cockpits, these have no connection ports at all. So the both of the control seats, they do exactly what they say. They're a control seat, they have no connection priority, so you can't refill your hydrogen while you're sitting there. The best you can do is recharge your energy. Now moving on to the larger cockpit, we've got ourselves one large connection point on the bottom and nothing on the back. And we've got the same sort of situation, but the connector is actually on the top. Both of these larger ones can be accessed through a door on the back. So that is pretty damn handy if you wanted to build this into your design. So we've had a look at the connectors. Let's have a talk about the damage of each one. So we're going to grab ourselves the assault rifle and I'm just going to pump one round into both the large and the small industrial cockpit. And we'll go over there with our welder now. So you can see it's taken one percentage off it. Now, something people were worried about is they thought this DLC block took more damage. So let's pump one shot into this and one shot into that. And let's just grab our welder, 99, 99. So they take the exact same amount of damage from a standard assault rifle. So let's just grind them back up or weld them back up, weld that and well that now we'll test out the gatling gun the control seats are a little bit different though they actually take two percent damage you could imagine this because they're exposed so let's actually go on to there see two percent and we've got the same one percent damage with all of these guys so if i go over these just quickly shooting one round into them and then we go on to our welder again you can see they all take one percent damage from a standard assault rifle so let's quickly uh, weld these guys back up, yeah, make sure everything's welded back to full efficiency, and we'll test them out with the Gatling gun. So we'll prep that, we'll fire one round. That's one round from the Gatling gun into that, and one round from the Gatling gun into that. So you can see it's now on 98, so it took 2% damage, where this actually took 3% damage. So actually Aaron was mistaken, these take 3% damage, don't they, rather than 2% Aaron. You maths, nink and poop. So you can see the difference in the two different cockpits. So 3% on the small, 3% on the large. And I reckon this is going to be repeatable on all the other cockpits. So let's um, fire it at this. So that's one on the large, one on the small. So this should have dropped down. Oh, it's actually dropped down to 95%. Interesting. Let's just see if that's repeatable. So that's gone down to 97 that one's gone down to 97, that one went down to 98. So from a larger caliber, let's just test out this again, make sure our findings are actually right. So they're all 100%. Larger Gatling gun turret. The industrial cockpit, one round. Perfect. Small industrial, one round. One round on that cockpit. And finally, one round on that. So let's just round up our results here. So 98, 97. 97 so yes by one percentage it took more damage and 95 
So in the small ship category, you're actually doing pretty bad here. You're losing 5% of your health of the cockpit from a large Gatling gun, where this one is only losing 3, so it is a little bit tougher. Let's test out the fighter cockpit and see what a large ship Gatling gun will do to that guy. So let's just fire one round at it. Hopefully we'll hit it straight away. Oh, I think we missed it. There we go, we hit it this time. So let's just head over to that fighter cockpit and just see how that compared. So 96. So let's just weld it up, make sure that is confirmed. Fire one more shot. Okay, and 97. So that it was damaged by my assault rifle before. So both the fighter cockpit and the small cockpit well they don't actually drop down so the fighter cockpit is just as strong as the industrial cockpit so that's quite interesting that's our find on the damage preference i'm not going to find missiles at them because usually with a missile they either get destroyed or get so damaged the, the stats are a little bit strange with the missiles i'm not going to explain it but i'll try to explain how the missiles do damage in another episode anyway let's go on to the visual capacity of each cockpit and to do so we're going to head down into here now the visual capacity of each cockpit is rather interesting and I think there's a lot of preference here. Um, so there is the standard cockpit. We'll hop in there and as we can see if I look straight to the left I can see three spotlights and the corner of a fourth. Look straight to the right we can see the same again. We've got great visual range right up to the top we can actually see the hole and we haven't got much in the down sort of area. Let's try putting in the industrial cockpit because I think these are the main competitors. Um, especially, well, especially they've got to be for the large ship. So the large ship, we can't see anything above. We can see out to the right, but we can't see all three. We can only see two, so the visuals to the side isn't great. But we have got quite a good visual capacity down to the bottom. We can see much lower down, so we imagine looking at that section there. Let's just pop in the small one again. And we can still see it pretty well. It's a little bit obscured by this. I, to me, I still find this cockpit far better, but it's totally up to you now when we go over to the smaller cockpits so for instance the smaller fighter let's just see if we can rotate that around press 4 again the smaller fighter or oh, it's not the smaller fighter the smaller industrial one has one distinct advantage you can actually see out the top of it so you can see that there's these bars here protecting it but you have a visual capacity to the top you've got a great visual to the bottom and if Aaron actually decides to level this thing off correctly let's try to level it up with this there's going to be slight variations in these tests, and that's what I really don't want to have. So let's place that like that, have the back aligned with it. So you've still got that problem where you can't see too much to your left, but the upper visibility definitely makes up for it, as well as that down visibility. Now let's just stick in the standard cockpit of this variation. So pop that into that position, and we'll pop that about there. That's about the same. Still, you've got a better visualization to the left, and to the top in my opinion you've just got the issue of being not able to see too much down to the bottom but i still feel that the standard cockpit is better apart from the damage than the industrial so now we've got the fighter this cockpit is probably one of the worst and i'll show you exactly why so we can see that we've already been sort of caged in by the bars of the actual cockpit here itself we've got an all right top vis visibility we can see a tad little bit better to the upper left than the other cockpits but the downwards and the forwards is totally obscured but we can see the lcds as we're flying and that's some points for this cockpit and i'll definitely give it that now let's go and test out the lcds so if we go back up through our vent and we head into here for the industrial cockpit the large one we have five cockpits well not five cockpits we have five lcds we've got four along the top and one on the bottom and they're all quite large they're easy to see the small industrial three along the top one on the bottom for the large the standard cockpit still got a bullet hole in from when i shot at it we have six lcd screens so very very useful one of the well this is the cockpit with the most screens in so we've got the smaller one so this one's got basically just four in a very compact layout very nice indeed and then we have got the standard ones. I didn't test these for visibility because of course they have the best visibility because they don't have any sort of cockpit around them. You can see below, you can see around your feet, but they've only got one LCD screen on both. And this one has horrible visibility towards the front. So this is really for a command center or something deep within your ship where you just need to see or reference the LCD screen. Now onto the fighter. This one has a total of five LCD screens. I believe it's five. 
Uh, let me just check my characteristics. No, the fighter has six as well. But I won't really count it as six because the LCD screen there on the right is obscured by the, the sort of arm, the joystick. So you're not going to be able to read it. But the best thing about this is if you are flying forward, you can see that cockpit or the LCD screen. So you'll still manage to stay on the horizon or do whatever you need to do. So my final results. If you want great visibility and great connection ports, I would go with the standard cockpit. Just because you've got one large connector, you've got two on the back and one on the front, it's easy to set up. The small industrial cockpit, yes, it does have some vis visibility advantages, but it doesn't have the best placement of connection points. So it's a bit, it's a bit hit and miss. Yes, you can see things below you, but you are going to struggle to see things through the vents above and your left and right visibility isn't particularly great but this is perfect for welding and mining and such like so in my overall view aaron would say that the standard cockpit is the best but let us know in the comment section below if you like the industrial you prefer the fighter or maybe you don't like any of them and you'd like them to build a totally new cockpit for us to play with anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time